We are just one hour away from a flood relief benefit concert featuring Sunday Best, which you can see live right here on WIMT on this TV and WIMT.com. Nick Jamerson and Chris Bentley will join me in just a moment to talk about the concert, but first we want to get the latest on the relief efforts and today the distribution center that was originally here at Johnson Central High School, well, it has been moved now and WIMT's Alex Casper Peak joins us live from the new location to begin our team coverage. Alex? Steve, hundreds of people have come out in Johnson County to help out. Now, I spoke to one woman today who says she's using her car to get supplies to her neighbors who are stuck in their flood-damaged homes. Charlotte Hackney says she is blessed the deadly storm only caused damage to her rooftop, as her neighbors down the road were not so lucky. We were out, we didn't even know anybody's getting killed. We were out in the weather and we, we was actually trying to get home and we just seen everybody flooding and this and that. And, and I let everybody know if they needed me, let me know. The storm destroyed most of her neighbor's cars, making it difficult for them to get out and pick up supplies. So Hackney is offering her time and truck to go get items for those in need. I've been doing it for a lot of people because I could tell they didn't have rides and I can't donate my time by working because my back and stuff is really bad. So I figured that's a way of, you know, doing something for other people. Hackney has already made the drive to the flood distribution center now located in Mayo Plaza to pick up supplies twice. She says she will continue to help out families in need any way she can. Officials at the center say a lot of items are available for pickup, but they will be in need of items as more people come in. We've had requests for laundry detergent um, and fans and also cleaning items such as mops and brooms. Um, those go pretty quickly. We have a lot of toilet paper and a lot of cleaning supplies, but those, those other things we need more of. As hundreds of people come together to volunteer their time and money, hoping to rebuild a community. Once again, the distribution center has moved from Johnson Central High School to the Mayo Plaza next to Big Sandy Superstore. Now, officials say volunteers are welcome. You can stop by anytime while they're open from 8 to 8. For now, live in Johnson County, I'm Alex Casper Peak. Steve.